Sapling guys, so we are back. First game of 2024, and we start off with FA Cup action. Arsenal versus Liverpool on the 7th of January at half past four in the evening. Match preview, let's go. So, this is a game that I personally, I'm going to say, I personally don't believe we're going to win it. What? Because of the manager in charge and his history of this competition since he won it to, save, to, to, to get himself the job, right? So, let's read into the preview. So, a standout tie of the FA Cup third round pits the competition's most successful side and 14-time winners, Arsenal. <laughs> against current Premier League leaders and eight-time winners, Liverpool. In a repeat of a fixture that produced a 1-1 draw in the league action just before Christmas, these two sides have responded differently to the relentlessness of the Premier League title race recently. With Arsenal losing ground by losing their last two games, while Liverpool have thrived on pressure by winning the previous two outings. But we all know how it's going to play out, don't we? You know what I mean? Liverpool, they'll keep this up and they'll stay up there. Man City will get De Bruyne back, then they'll start flying. Yep. And then, in, in, in typical fashion, it'll put pressure on Liverpool and they'll bowl it. Yep. That's, that's what I think will happen. But we haven't seen Liverpool overdo Man City when it's been close. No. Nope. When Liverpool won the league, it was because they were flying away and nobody wanted to catch them. You know what I mean? It was all the time when they won it. But Liverpool Liverpool fans will talk as if their rivalry with Man City was like ours with Man United back in the day. Nah, fam. Stop it. You know what I mean? Get Whenever it's close, you man don't win it. You know what I mean? It's, it's called spade a spade. That's not me taking the piss. I'm just saying what is when the league title's close and it's within points, you, man, 100% of the time, do not win it. Oh, hell no. And this is not me trying to say that we would do it because we've seen what we did last season. I mean, but we'll see, innit? The Gunners will therefore be happy to see FA Cup action return to the Emirates as they're proving incredibly hard to beat in such a setting, having lost just three of the last 49 home FA Cup matches, 136 drawn 10. Manager Mikel Arteta will hope that hope that directly translates to prolonging his side's good fortune over the, their visitors in football's oldest club competition. Since Arsenal have won the previous three FA Cup ties between these two, this Liverpool side may be the biggest threat to their host's impressive home FA Cup record as their aim will be to surpass this stage of the competition for what will be the 12th time in their last 13 attempts. Jurgen Klopp will have to mastermind a strategy to do so without his main weapon up front. He'll be losing Mohamed Salah to the Africa Cup of Nations duties prior to this match. Let me tell let me tell you man one thing, right? Let me tell you one more, you man one thing, right? You, you do... Liverpool fans, you come across this video, listen to me carefully. You, man, do not have to worry about Mo Salah not being in this game. No. You know what I mean? It is not hard to beat this Arsenal side. I, I, I'm just, I'm just going to call it where it is. It, it's not hard to overcome this side. No. We know exactly what Saka's going to do when he gets the ball. We know exactly what Martin is going to do when he gets the ball. And Gabriel Jesus is the Brazilian Welbeck. You know what I mean? That's it. You know what I mean? So our attack ain't gonna what 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 what's our attack gonna do, really? You know what I mean? Missing more Salah just paves the way for somebody else to take his place. You know what I mean? I I'm I'm not looking at Liverpool missing more Salah and thinking, oh yeah, we've got a better chance against them now. Because it, I think it'll he'll probably miss both games against um Arsenal. 
Because they'll come back here, I think, first game of February for the league game. He might be back by then. I don't know. It's irrelevant anyway. Because whether Liverpool are with him, without him, they don't they don't need Mo Salah to beat us. So we 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 not good. We've been stinking all season, fam. You know what I mean? The Reds therefore have to try and continue their fine form on the road without their Egyptian kingpin, where they've won three of the last four away matches, lost one. Matt mirrors their recent record at the Emirates, having won three successive games there without conceding before losing 3-2 in the Premier League last season. You know, the one three without conceding, that, that's that's a shamble. That was a shambles out. Players to watch, I don't usually get into this, but I'll read it. Two of Arsenal's three goals that day were scored by Bakayo Saka, which kicks out the run of him scoring 17 of his last 23 goals at home. As for Liverpool, Diogo Jota, annoying frigging player. He, he, he That guy annoys me. Just, you know, sometimes you look at someone and you think, you annoy me. Jota's that, that player for me. Has played part in his team, scoring all of their prior four visits to the Emirates, registering six direct goal contributions in that time. Five scored, one assist. A hot start. 16 of Liverpool's last 18 away matches have seen both teams score. Well... I'm definitely saying Liverpool scoring this game, but you know my match prediction. I'm I'm saying Liverpool beat us three one. I'm 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 just gonna call spade a spade. Now last five matches, you know how we we'll do it. We we'll got the last five matches of Arsenal, last five matches of Liverpool, then the last five head to heads between both clubs against each other. So if this game, this F, if this FA Cup game ends in a draw, we'll be playing a replay at Anfield. You know the last thing you want in an FA Cup is is a draw. To then have to play that team again, you know what I mean? He's, I think the last time we played a replay, yes, it was years ago, probably over ten years ago. Last time we played a replay, yeah. The previous times that we'd won it recently, we hadn't had a replay in that time. So, yeah. So, last five matches. Of Arsenal, right? Lost 2-1 at Fulham. Lost 2-0 at home to West Ham. Drew 1-1 at Liverpool. Won 2-0 against Brighton. And drew 1-1 against PSV. So we've lost two of our last five games. Drawing two also. And winning one. Winning one's not good enough. Liverpool's last five matches. Beat Newcastle 4-2 on uh, New Year's Day. Uh, beat Burnley at Burnley 2-0. Drew against Arsenal 1-1. Smoked West Ham 5-1 in the uh, EFL Cup and drew against Man United 0-0. So, the last five matches against, you know, versus one another. Last The last match was obviously uh, at Anfield. Um just last year, just back end of last year, uh, which was a 1-1 draw. Before that, we drew 2-2 two -two at Anfield when we uh, started bottling the league. Before that, we beat Liverpool 3-2. Before that, Liverpool beat us 2-0 at Emirates. And before that, they beat us 2-0 at the Emirates. One of them was a cup game, I believe. Um, yeah, EFL, EFL Cup semi-finals. So that's that. And where where the last to play in the FA Cup, then we'll find out who who's doing what in the next round. Because I don't oh no, no, there's FA Cup. Oh man, you play Wigan on Monday. So man, you were the last ones in the FA Cup. And then then, then I'll say next week there's EFL Cup semi finals and all that. So yeah, um, if I was to take a, a stab in the dark, I'm saying that we'll lose 3 1. And I haven't predicted that we'd lose. Apart from the form game, that I got spot on, by the way. And I didn't predict a loss for us since Man City. When I predicted that we'd lose 4 1 and we beat them 1 0. Um, 
But this game, because the way I see it, Arteta has has his eye on Crystal Palace. You know what I mean? Trying to get back up the table and rectifying, blah, blah, blah. That's the way I see it. You know what I mean? The one advantage is that we're at home. You know what I mean? That's that's an advantage. You know what I mean? But, no, nah, I just, I just, I can't see us. I, re- I really can't see us winning this game because I just don't think the manager wants it. Now, let me touch on something before I leave, right? Is that Kieran Tini has decided he ain't coming back from law. He's staying. He's staying at Real Sociedad. And you know what? This is what I think of it. Can you blame him? This guy was frozen out for a player who's not even a, a, a proper left back, who's an absolute liability defensively. He got frozen out for that. Obviously, we signed Tim in the window. You know what I mean? And and, and TD made two two bit of appearance in the community shield, and then Arteta decided, yep. Yeah, you're the one that's getting binned. Because I've been trying to get rid of you for a minute now. And now, now we're struggling defensively on that left-hand side. Now Arteta has the audacity to be like, you want to come back to you? And Tini's like, no. I said no. I said no! I don't blame him. Don't blame him. I mean, Arteta deserves the, deserves this kind of suffering right now. Yeah. He does. Arteta deserves this kind of suffering. Brought it on yourself. Because y- y- your poor decision making costs man again. So now we're going to have to go out and go get someone else on loan or something. You know what I mean? I, don't bl- I really do not blame Kieran Tina. I do not blame him. So, bravo. <laughs> But yeah, Tini staying at Sociedad, and that's that. So yeah, my, my score prediction for this game: three-one Liverpool win, and it'll be, you know, arms house down there. And then we'll, we'll what what will happen is we'll surely we'll beat Crystal Palace just to try and get back up the table, and then we'll only have the Champions League and the Premier League to fight for. And, then, and are we going to win any of those? Jesus Christ! Are we going to win any of those? Anyways, that's it from me. Like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow all the socials, links in the description down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys for the match reaction for this game. I'm not going to be doing a watch along because I'm going to be watching at my friend's house. So, um, so yeah, stay tuned for the match reaction and hopefully we're in the next round of the FA Cup and bring on whoever it might may be should we get there. But anyways, see you guys in the next one in a bit. Uh-huh.